Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowacki and this is the part 2 of DataSnap Multi-Tire DataSnap app uh, that is made of multiple parts. In the first part we have built a simple web broker uh, dynamic application that will uh, generate some jQuery mobile boilerplate code. In the second part we have modified our uh, web uh, application so uh, it uh, generates some uh, more sophisticated jQuery mobile code so we are ready to add some dynamic content to our application so let me very quickly uh, show you uh, where we are so in our application I'm going to open it in the browser we have a simple uh, jQuery mobile code so this is the master page uh, that has just two uh, detail pages. One is just about page, it's sample, and there is an also customer page. So this is a customer page uh, is supposed to display a dynamic content based on uh, database uh, records from a interbase sample employee database and this is going this is where we are going to build a dynamic list of uh, customers. So the next step uh, here is to add uh, the support so we can see uh, data coming from the uh, employees database. So we are going to, uh, this is my mm, interbase uh, employee sample database and we want to uh, display information from a uh, customer uh, table uh, with uh, names of uh, different uh, customers. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to uh, rename my uh, client application to something uh, better, so I'm going to have a mm, web broker a client. So that's going to be name of my uh, client application, and I'm going to add to this uh, project group a new uh, standalone uh, data snap uh, server application, which is going to be a VCL forms application. I'm going to uh, keep TCP/IP, but I don't need any sample methods. I'm going to see if that port 211 is open and this is important I want to make sure that I have my server methods uh, class uh, inherited from TDS server module class. Ok I'm going to uh, close this guy and I'm going uh, to save it inside my data snap uh, labs and this is going to be my uh, jQuery mobile client. So main form is going to be my form uh, server uh, I'm going to keep the default names for the server methods unit and the server container unit and this is going to be my uh, customer data server application. The project group uh, will be scalable data snap system. So okay so now I'm I have just an empty application. I'm going to change the caption to form server. And inside of my uh, server methods unit, this is a place. So, because I have uh, derived uh, my class from TDS server module, it is indirectly derived from TData module. Uh, so, I can use it as a, a convenient place to uh, put some uh, data access components. So, for this, I'm going to take my IB employee uh, node from Data Explorer, drag it to the uh, form, so it will add a uh, SQL connection. So I need to make sure that I actually uh, can connect uh, to this uh, database. And now what I want to have is to have a list uh, of customers uh, ordered uh, by um, last name. So. I have this customer, and so these are my customers. So I can actually now add to this form, um, pressing uh, F6, uh, I can add a T SQL query component uh, where I can actually uh, return a list of uh, customers ordered by last name, uh, by the customer name. So I need to connect this uh, query component. And also, before I specify the uh, SQL statement, I want to make sure that I don't forget to add a data set provider. Uh, so again, uh, I'm going to uh, use the T data set uh, 
ID inside to add T data set uh, provider component. So this is a special component, uh, so I'm going to call it in a special way DSP uh, customers so I can refer to this customer in code. So this is going to be my query SQL Q customers and this dataset provider has to be connected to my dataset which is my uh, customers. Okay, so I need to specify a SQL uh, statement. Uh, I can do it actually very uh, easily using a SQL window. So this is a window that I can use to dynamically build some queries. I'm going to take this guy and this will actually generate for me a select star from customer but I want to order by this customer name. So instead of using star I'm going to add all the fields one by one to my statement. So this is now uh, added and I can also I'm running in a little uh, very low um, I want to do it like descending. So in this way I should see uh, that this is my uh, final statement so I uh, select uh, all the fields from my uh, customer and also this is ordered uh, by a customer field in a, a descendant order. I'm going to copy the whole statement Control C I'm going to close this window I don't need it anymore and I'm going to enter this statement into my uh, string list editor. Okay, so uh, I should be able to actually open this statement so it can be activated so it looks like it's a, a correct statement. Okay, so my server is now ready. Uh, I'm going to uh, run it because it has to be running before I will be able to actually uh, connect to it and build client. I'm going to minimize it and move to the client. So now I'm in the in the client and I want to add to my uh, data module that is actually generating uh, dynamic data components to connect to my server. I'm going to move uh, to this guy and I'm going to add a SQL uh, connection. So this is uh, I'm going to add a T-SQL connection. So this is going to be my uh, connection to my server. So the SQL connection, uh, the driver has to be a data snap and it's a TCP IP port 211 all the default values so I should I don't need to have a login prompt and I should be able to connect at design time to it so I don't want to generate any proxies because I want to use uh, components so there is a special component a TDS a provider connection uh, that can be used to directly connect uh, to a data snap server like this that has a data set uh, providers. So this is my data uh, set provider connection. I need to connect it to my uh, SQL connection and what I also need is to specify the server class name. So that's quite uh, important. So my class name uh, is T server methods 2. I need to copy this, move to my main unit and copy this class uh, here. Okay, so now if I click on connected I should be able to connect. Okay, and now I need to add a client data set. So I'm going to press again F6 uh, and T client data set. So this is my uh, data set where I'm going to uh, retrieve uh, data from the server. I'm going to programmatically iterate through this client data set to display a data. So this client data set has to be connected to remote server which is my provider connection and here I should be also able to see my DSP customer. So this is the name of the provider on the server. So notice that in this architecture I could have had uh, multiple providers on the server and multiple uh, client data sets so uh, I could share just one SQL connection and one DS provider connection and have multiple client data sets uh, in general. But I don't want to have it like this, so I have uh, my client data set which is at C CDS customer, maybe to make it slightly smaller, just oh, customer is fine. So if everything is fine, I should be able to actually connect. So now I have a, a data design time. To simplify my code, 
I'm going to add a persistent fields to my client dataset. So I double click on a client dataset, set add all fields, and now inside my client uh, inside my data module I have one component uh, representing uh, one field. Uh, so that's going to uh, make my uh, life easier so I can have more uh, readable uh, code uh, later. Okay, so uh, this was uh, all the steps necessary uh, to add uh, data access uh, to my uh, customer list. So in the next part uh, of this uh, demonstration I'm going to uh, actually uh, implement the get customer uh, list method and uh, get customer uh, pages method uh, in order to uh, generate dynamic code uh, from the underlying uh, data snap server.